I'm dumbfounded. Are Konami trying to make Neospatian viable? Because if so, they did it. The deck literally isn't shit anymore. Like, holy shit, I can't believe this deck is even playable now. Even though I can't believe that they're viable, I can still give you guys my opinion on how good the new Neospatian support is. So, let's do that. The most splashable Neospatian support we got was Neospace Connector. Basically, you can special summon Neos or any Neospatian from the deck. As well, you contribute it to summon a Neos slash Neospatian from your graveyard. The fact that this card has no restrictions whatsoever other than it being a hard once per turn means you can splash this card in a lot of decks, like Goki. Think about this. A lot of Goki lists are already playing Aqua Dolphin, and because of that, this card fits in incredibly well. You summon this special on Aqua Dolphin and use them for a one card ISO day. Elemental Hero Brave Neos, used when Neos Fusion is broken. Neos Fusion is broken by itself. It is a Shadal Fusion that can be activated at any point. The only restriction being you can't special summon for the rest of this turn. And it has to be a Neos Fusion that only requires two materials. But in Neos Spatians, that usually doesn't matter. Especially the other new fusion, which I'll get into in a second. If you thought this card wasn't enough, you can banish it from the graveyard instead of returning a Neos Fusion from the field to the extra deck during your end phase. Now, Brave Neos requires one elemental hero Neos as a fusion material. However, the other material required is one level 4 or lower effect monster. So what does this mean? Well, it means one level 4 or lower effect monster. Any level 4 or lower effect monster. Remember when you would use Shadal Fusion for Construct and get a Shadal effect and the Light monster? Well, this is very similar, although not as good. The freedom of any level 4 or lower effect monster is so crazy. I could honestly see this card possibly being splashed, but as well gives you a lot of freedom as to what to send. The last two cards are Elemental Hero, Cosmo Neos, and Next. Well, I think these are the worst support cards out of the bunch, that doesn't make them bad. In fact, Cosmo Neos is incredible. So basically, your opponent has to somehow stop the summon of this card, because when it's fusion summoned, your opponent can't activate cards or effects for the rest of the turn. As well, that effect can't be responded to. As well, during during the end phase, you can nuke your opponent's entire field when returning it to the extra deck. The only issue with this card is it requires one Elemental Hero Neos plus three Neos Basians with different attributes as material. Lastly, next is long story short, a soul charge with a few restrictions. While any of them are on the field, you can't summon extra deck monsters except fusions. But as well, it's a trap, comparable to impermanence in the fact that if you control no cards, you can activate it from the hand. This card is surprisingly impactful as well when it comes to using Nebula Neos. It can be summoned with ease as of now, and it's just amazing. When you draw it into next with Nebula and Neos, then banish your opponent's field, you now have a way to defend yourself. So, alright, those are my initial thoughts on the new Neospatian support. I think the support is actually beyond incredible, and if you wanted Neospatians to ever be relevant, it really needed some broken support, and that's what it got. While this deck most likely won't be tier 1 after this, it will be playable, and better than playable for that matter. So, still experimenting with outros, so 5 seconds ago again. Yeah, thanks for watching.